Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This reading is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Guys, this is my anniversary, uh, my third anniversary on YouTube. So I'm giving away three, three, three question readings every week, the month of September. If you're interested, please leave me a comment down below. Um... Let's get into the reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What's Virgo's energy, please? So there's deception in a new passionate beginning. So somebody may be lying about, they're lying and cheating, having sex with somebody else. Somebody's having an affair. So let's get into the energy of all 12 signs around Virgo, starting with Aries. You're dealing with an Aries. I feel like somebody is trying to be patient, but there's a harsh truth being spoken. So someone may come. I, I mean, it's almost like you're trying to balance out something like a harsh truth. Somebody's rushing towards you with the harsh truth and you're trying to be patient or you're trying to be balanced. If you're dealing with a Taurus, somebody's doing some soul searching, waiting. They may be spending some time by themselves, going through some stuff, doing some deep soul searching, maybe waiting for somebody, waiting for their ships to come in. I almost feel like they're doing one while they're waiting for the other. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, someone's at a crossroads about walking away. If you're dealing with a Cancer, they're heartbroken out in the cold. If you're dealing with a Leo, there's a relationship that's meant to be. If you're dealing with another Virgo, somebody's holding on to a third party. If you're dealing with a Libra, someone may be reconciling with a soulmate. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, I feel like something ends because of a passion uh, because of passionate communication. So fight or argument causes an ending. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, I feel like they're not speaking and then they, when they do speak it's very immature and very emotional that so they go from one end to the other, from one extreme to the other. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, Someone wants to overcome their anxiety. They want a victory over their anxiety. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, they need the strength to close out a cycle. They need a strength to change something. If you're dealing with a Pisces, they're moving on. They may be apologizing. Okay, there's could be two things if you're dealing with a Pisces. They may be moving forward and uh, for an offer. So maybe moving on for an offer. Um, or they're, um, they're apologizing for leaving. They're apologizing for moving on. Or, and a third way, they may be wanting to go from rough waters to calm waters and have smooth sailing and apologize. So it could be three things there. There's a lot of drama under the bottom of the deck. You had the five of wands. So, Virgo. Somebody's cheating here. Someone's having an affair. So let's get into this and see what's going on. What does Virgo need to know? Okay, so you have an ending here. It's been a long time coming because somebody is very, you know, these two cards together, the Emperor and the Five of Swords, you know, it's his way or the highway, right? And somebody's trying to win at all costs playing mind games. It could be somebody playing, trying to play mind games with the Emperor. Like they're trying, they're, it's like this person may be challenging the Emperor 
you know, like I'm able to stand in my power as well. But you're not going to outdo this one, especially five of swords. You can't even, you can't touch this one. It, it just, that makes no sense. Yes, because see, somebody's wanting a victory. It'd be a Ten of Cups in a family situation. They're manifesting, holding on, but there's a lot of anxiety in this relationship. Someone's having sleepless nights in this relationship, wanting the truth, wanting the truth to reconcile. Okay, you're maybe manifesting, holding on to anxiety in a relationship. So whatever this is, you know, when we, when we put out to the universe that we're lacking something, that's what the universe gives us back. And if you're holding on to anxiety and stress and sleepless nights, and that's what you're manifesting because, oh, I can't do this. I can't do that. I can't, 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 can't. That's what you're putting out to the universe. And that's what you're manifesting. Okay. So if you want a positive, I can, I can overcome this. I can do whatever I, you know, just reverse it. Someone may be moving on single because they see something from a different perspective. Is that the devil? Ooh. So I feel like <laughs> they want, okay. Somebody's waiting or yearning under the bottom of the deck. The devil and the temperance card and the ace of coins. So I feel like somebody may be wanting to, they're obsessed with peace in a new beginning. So they're, they're not willing to deal with somebody's nonsense. They're just not willing to deal with nonsense. That's what that is. You know, they're obsessed with having peace in a situation. If all there is is drama, they're, they're obsessed with having peace and they'll have a new beginning. So someone may move on single because they see something from a different perspective. Something that ended because it was meant to end, right? It's been a long time coming. Okay. Something, well, something's faded. Could be transforming because it's meant to be. Something could be faded here and, and, um, fate transforms something. Something's been a long time coming and somebody wants to be with somebody, but they want to win at all costs playing mind games, reconciling. I feel like with that five of swords, This person is trying to bait somebody back by manipulation. Like they want to reconcile with somebody, but they're using mind games to do it. It's like they're trying to bait somebody back. Like they're baiting the hook. Because maybe they're using sex. Emperor energy. A new passionate beginning with the emperor here. Um, they want a victory over a third party. They want to move forward with their ten of cups. Somebody's trying to win here over somebody else. That's what's happening. You're manifesting love, right? But you're holding on to what happened in the past. You're holding on to past mistakes. It's causing a lot of anxiety that you need to heal. Have this relationship have a victory. So you need to overcome whatever this is. You know, you're manifesting love, but you're holding on to the past. You cannot hold on to past mistakes and expect it to come back differently. You have to forgive the past and move forward. So don't hold on to past mistakes. Because you, you, you bring your, you know... Um, when you bring the shit bag out and hit somebody over the head with it every time they make a mistake, it's never going to be a good, good relationship. There's going to be a truth coming out. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone's mastering their emotions to tell the truth here. You have the, a perfect match here. Somebody wants to reconcile with the Queen of Cups. They're mastering their emotions to speak the truth to reconcile with the Queen of Cups. They see you as their perfect match.
you may have moved on single or they may have moved on single because they saw something from a different perspective. Either one, whoever is trying to manipulate somebody back by to reconcile with using a, a sexual new beginning, right? Um, emotional communication to a third party and there was deception. And somebody's now out in the cold. King of Pentacles. So I feel like you were talking to somebody else. Somebody moved on from you because you were communicating with a third party. And you were lying about it. And so that's why you're out in the cold. King of Pentacles. Somebody has moved on single because they see something from a different perspective. Now, I don't know. I need to go back on this because I'm getting two different stories here. Okay, there is a closing out of a cycle. But what I am getting is you were maybe communicating with a third party and there was deception. That's why you're out in the cold. Maybe the third party found out about you and your person. And that's why they manipulated you to reconcile with them using sex. Okay, um, there was an ending and something that was meant to be. So this is a, this is, okay. This is a true soulmate here, right? You have a perfect match here. But if you were communicating with somebody else and they caught you communicating with somebody else, I feel like this could be the third party that's manipulating you into uh, reconciling with them and they're using sex as a way of doing it, okay? Because it's been a long time coming and you want to be with somebody, right? And I feel like what this is saying up here is there was something that ended that was meant to be, okay? And it's been a long time coming and you wanted to be with this person. You want to reconcile with the Queen of Cups over here, right? And you're trying to master your emotions to tell the truth. That's your energy, Virgo. I feel like this is telling me a story, another story, that there is somebody that played mind games to get you to reconcile with them, emperor energy, with using sex as a way of doing that, right? And it was a third party that wanted the victory, and they wanted, they wanted to move forward with a family situation with you. So I feel like there's three people here. There's three, okay? Um, you are manifesting love, but you are holding on to past mistakes. That past mistake was reconciling with somebody else. Right? You're wanting to heal whatever anxiety that you have so that you can have a victory in a relationship. That victory that you want in a relationship was with, with, with this person. Because you had the pre-empress here move on, moving full. They hit the gas. They're single and because they see something from a different perspective. Emotional communication with a third party was deceptive. Okay. That's why you're out in the cold, King of Pentacles. Okay, so now it's 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 come pretty clear to me. Okay. So whatever it was was toxic. And you're trying, you may be obsessed with finding peace in a new beginning, or there could have been something that was uh, very toxic that, you know, this could have been oppressive, but you're still trying to balance something out, balance out something that was toxic to have a new beginning. Um, you're being strategic about it. You're not showing emotion about to see it's about this queen of wands. It's about the third party here. You're being very cold icing. Uh, the, you're icing out this queen of wands. So that you can work with the Empress. So you could be obsessed with, with finding peace in a new beginning. But it's been a long time coming. Okay. For your happiness. You're being very strategic. Where one is you're walking away from some kind of betrayal that was hidden. You see something from a new perspective. And you want to speak a truth about a family situation. But you're anxious about the past. And you want to move forward to something long-term and committed with this offer. Okay. I feel like, Virgo, this has been your story for a while. You want, you want to go back to the person you walked out on for somebody else. But this person maybe manipulated you back to reconciling. They, they did something to get you back. And they used sex. They used sex to do it. So...
Use your intuition to make this decision. This is the past life love. You were on different pages. You and this person didn't share the same vision. This could be the third party. Um, this could be you and the person you want to come back to. But more than likely, this is the person that that you left them for. You didn't share the same values. You didn't sh you didn't share the same. It wasn't it wasn't what you wanted. You weren't on the same page with that person. You're manifesting home clarity, beauty. I feel like this is, when I see beauty here, I don't feel like it's a physical beauty. I feel like it's, I feel like that's the inner beauty more than anything. You see somebody's heart, right? I feel like you, you're manifesting clarity and, and just home. Whatever this is, it's, it's a very beautiful, it's love. It's love is what it is, right? So whatever this deception was, you need to refocus and balance out the scale to have this commitment. You need to, you need to fix it. You need to fix it. You need to balance out that scale from deception, communication about why you abandoned somebody and went in a different direction. That's what that's about. You having to come clean and own it. That's what this is. So guys, that's all I have for you. I'm going to take this to the extended to get you some more clarity. So if this resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you over in Vimeo for the extended.